I didn't notice it after the first uh, last game, but actually just passed 14 million runecrafting XP. I did not think that I would ever have this much XP in the skill, especially when I started playing. But um, just working on some Guardians of the Rift right now, and it's probably gonna be the first clip of the new video, so welcome if you made it to the second video. Um, just working on the outfit at the moment. Uh, also the pet recolor, because I do actually have the Rift Guardian pet, so really, really want that green like special edition recolor, so it looks really, really cool. But um, I will keep you updated. I'm probably going to save up a bunch of the reward points and then open them, but I'm on like 93 KC. Yeah, so definitely coming along here, and I will keep you updated once I open up all of my reward chests. I'm just gonna cash in some of these permits now. I the worlds are really bad right now. Like I don't know why I'm. It's like super, super, super laggy. But um, I'd rather not save all these up just on the basis that I still need the lantern, and getting the lantern early would just be obviously most ideal here. But let's see if we get anything. It's sixteen, and we're it's a collection log slot with catalytic talisman. Okay. Happy with that. Got five more here. See if we get anything. I will take a log slot. 497. All right, nothing else here, but I will take a catalytic talisman. Are these worth anything? No, they're not worth anything. Oh yes, if I start the series, yes, I will let him know, but let's see, is this literally even worth anything? Probably not. 100k, not too bad. Um, I'm probably gonna just AFK something because the worlds have just been so flippy for me at the moment of whether good or bad, but I will see you guys in the next clip. Just working on my Basilisk task right now. Um, I probably won't be many updates unless I get the head or the jaw. It's probably gonna be a pretty uneventful task, but I will let you know, you guys know if I get anything from this and what we do next. I'm just finishing up my first trip and uh, got a long bone. I think I have the wiki page up here for what those are, but I think they are. Longbone's only 1 in 400. Okay, so not as bad as I thought. I think the curve bone, yeah, curve bone's 1 in 5k, so definitely don't, I mean, definitely don't want to uh, be getting that, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated with anything else. I was talking about it before, but uh, that is the uh, item that I don't want. Uh, <laughs> and we got it, so that is 1 in 5k. And I just want a jaw, or the head, which is substantially less. So I guess we'll add it to the uh, pile of curd bones. I think I turned them in when I was doing 99 construction like a while ago, but might have some staved up, but... Uh, I guess I jinxed it, but hopefully we get lucky this task. This Basilisk task has been way more eventful than I uh, would ever have thought so, but there's a shield left half, so not a jaw or a head, but you know, it's cool, I guess. I already finished that Basilisk task. Um, I'm actually going to try and get the back-to-back. -back. Uh, it was really a, a really eventful task, actually. Got two hard clues and a... Quiz master in the course of that, so I thought I'd save it up. Oh my gosh, another hard clue. All right, uh, I'm gonna just do that and then I'll be back with all three. All right, you did that other hard clue to a task we get 162 hellhounds. All right, you have to do some Cerberus, that'd be pretty fun. And we'll open these caskets. Bando's kite shield. A log slot, a log slot. Nothing and blue hide G. So two log slots. I think that gets me to 600 or 500. I mean, ugh, close. Not bad. Alrighty. I'm um, probably gonna do some sire. I'm not sure if I'm gonna AFK anything in the meantime, but I will keep you updated with what we do next. Already coming in here on the hundredth lap, which was gonna be the first recolor. And we're going to transform into the Karamjin Monkey, which is going to be a collection log slot and a number 500 
in the collection log, so halfway there. So that's, that's a nice little progress mark. I'm slowly going to be working on this. Obviously, 2500 is going to take some time here, but uh, 500 collection log slots. It's definitely... I think when I started really going for this, I was only at about 250, 300-ish, so definitely seeing some progress here, but uh, excited to see how far we can get with this, and yeah, 500, good goal. Just hit 400 KC here at Cerberus. Um, have an elite clue which that I did get that I will open up at the uh, end of the task. Can you let me know how you'd want me to do the clue scrolls. I think that the best option is especially from doing a task it's going to be to just save up the caskets and then when i'm going to get like a new task get like duradel or conar or whatever just open all the clues there because then it's just kind of summarized not in it like all together and rather than just wasting time saying oh i got a clue like it's probably just better to open it all at the end but let me know what you think and i will definitely take your suggestions into consideration of what's going on but uh hopefully we get something from the Cerberus task uh i think we can check the log here. I'm not sure I have anything. I actually don't have anything. So anything would be a log slot. So that would be pretty sure I got all the stuff in leagues, but I don't think I've ever gotten anything on my main here. It's main account. So uh, hopefully we can get a log slot this task and I will keep you guys updated. So I just woke up and I saw the uh, Easter event and whatnot, the update. But more importantly, these combat achievement changes. It's actually kind of insane how how much they drop these combat achievements, Casey. Um, like 150 less kills at some of these bosses is just ridiculous. Like 75 less nightmare kills is 200 less nightmare kills. Like I get it that combat achievements are supposed to test your ability rather than you know just grinding out a boss. And I actually did vote yes for this poll, so I'm completely fine with it as I plan on doing a lot of these combat achievements. But um, just interesting to see how much they actually changed these. Like, I didn't think it was going to be... Maybe I was just unaware, but I didn't think that these would be the uh, amount they changed. But um, interesting. I'm actually going to go do the Easter event right now. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I think I'm probably just going to do some AFK skilling because I don't really have time to do Cerberus all day today, so um, I'll keep you guys updated with that. I just headed over here to the Woodcutting Guild. I decided to check my kingdom after a while, and we actually got three of the uh, the bird's eggs. Um, actually, checking the log here, I do have one piece of the evil chicken outfit, and I know this is like notoriously difficult to get, so um, let me see. I think there's a log once you pray at it. Or... And I didn't think I was going to get anything, but to have one piece done already is like really, really lucky because I've seen some people get extraordinarily unlucky at this. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing birdhouse runs. I probably should to like better my chances, but um, I think I just have my kingdom set so I can just collect that passively. But uh, yeah, not lucky this time, but I'm definitely lucky getting a singular piece of it. So I will see you guys in the next clip. So today's kind of been a hodgepodge of uh, different skilling activities, but I just realized that I actually... I'm going for the sack, but I didn't realize I don't have the pearl rod. So I'm actually just going to get that right now. It's going to be the pearl fly fishing rod. I don't want to mess this up because I don't want to be here longer. So pearl fly fishing rod... Um, trade him. And that is going to be a, another collection log slot. I believe, oh, actually I don't believe, I do know that uh, all of, the only thing I need left is the fish sack, which is going to be a thousand. Um, I do have the cinch. Uh, I'd like to get more because obviously it's a hundred pearls, which is going to be a very, very helpful in this. But um, I actually, doing aerial fishing is like one of the few things I like to do on most on mobile. Uh, I think Zaya Runecrafting and Zaya Runecrafting Agility and Aerial Fishing are probably like my three favorite mobile activities. So I might 
intermittently do that and whatnot, but it is going to take a while to get a thousand. This is definitely quite the grind, but um, yeah, I just kind of look through the log and see what slots I can get done quickly or just areas that I can chip away at. So uh, that's kind of been the theme of today. So just keep going with that. I right, just finished that Cerberus task. Um, my friend Calvi let me borrow the Spectral, which is shout out to him. Uh, made the task a lot easier, but got two elite clues and a mystery box. Uh, Quizmaster random, so let's see if we get lucky here. And we get cabbage, and that's awesome. Uh, that's a bad mass elite, and hey, a top hat. Not bad. I mean, the clue's bad, but the log slot's good. And then we're gonna see what tasks we're gonna get. Oops. Ooh. Do I wanna do a Zuck task? Hmm. I'm going to try the Zuck test. It'll be the first time I've gone on back on task in a while, so we'll see if we can do this. But I will keep you guys updated with how this goes. Right, we're going to not talk about how I fucked up my supplies and had to wipe because I didn't bring the right supplies with me. So we're just going to get a new task. Uh, smoke Devils. Um, I... I think if I check the log here, oh, that's combat achievements. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a lot done here. I think I just need the jar. Hmm, I just do need the jar. I think I'm gonna try and do it. Um, I know this drop's pretty rare, but I actually don't mind thermia. It's pretty chill and it's like pretty decent money per hour. So I'll probably hit this thermia task up. Um, if I do get bored, I will just barrage them because I know it's. And it is crazy XP regardless. I'm kind of like torn on what I want to do for Slayer because I actually recently just got 19 mil, but Slayer is my favorite skill, so I wouldn't mind like putting a bunch of time and XP into it. And it's obviously gonna help with the collection log and whatnot. But uh probably gonna go do some Thermi. Uh, I don't I just haven't done it with the site since I've gotten it yet so far. So maybe I try that. But uh, I will keep you guys updated with what we do next. Well, that was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. And oh my gosh, what a drop. That is insane. Oh my goodness. I don't think... Wow. Like, I, I'm just... I'm in shock. That was crazy. Ah. Uh. That was, let me just check the log here, but that is thermonuclear smoke double completed. I actually might just barrage the rest of these, but I can't believe I got both those items together. Like, what the heck? That's gotta be, like, pretty rare. I'm not complaining here, though. Finish this boss in 18, 1800 kills? Fine by me. Wow, alrighty, I think I'm actually going to end the video on that one, because I don't think that uh, I'm going to be able to top that, so please let me know if you have any more suggestions going forward for the future videos, but um, I will see you guys in the next one.